De vraag is dan, is zoiets van tevoren voorbereid of kan dat op 11 september zelf nog zijn besloten en uitgevoerd? Met hoeveel man heeft u hoeveel tijd nodig om dat uh, te doen? Dat weet ik niet precies, maar maak je een inschatting? Ja, dan moet je wel ervaren mensen hebben, maar als je een man of 30 of 40 zou hebben. Kijk, een paar met de snijbranden, de rest brengt het man. Andere mensen sluiten die uh, de deadcourt met, uh, met die boosters aan. Dat doet allemaal precies allemaal op hetzelfde moment gaan. En weer een derde die zet uh, het elektronische systeem erop. En dan gaat hij. Zal ook een rand was en ook in dat gebouw was brand? Niet gebeurd. Ze hebben de brand niet gebeurd. Dus de mensen die dat moesten doen, die moesten het doen. Ze hadden binnen op brand. Because obviously what 
you do is, of course, you have to have the architectural blueprints before you do anything. And the next thing that the demolition company is doing these days is to make a virtual mathematical model of the whole building in a program designed to do that. Not only to find out exactly where the loads are and the spreads of the, of the structure, but also because within the software they can run the whole demolition sequence in virtual space and time. That is, they can put charges in the structure and see what effect the charges would have to the whole structure. So they can repeat the sequence over and over again, refining the time sequence of the firing sequence of the charges. But it is not only a matter of computation and mathematics and calculations. Also, a matter of intuition. In older days, the, the demolition uh, business was was a craft which went down in families from father to son. It's very much based on intuition. They're going through the building and they're making intuitive decisions of how many, how many, how much explosives should be put in there and there, so on. And to take down a chimney, an old chimney, these people, this, they don't. This is not, this is good stuff. But to take a big construction into its own footprint is an achievement which can only be done by very few, less than a handful of big demolition companies in the world. It is a challenging piece of engineering. And I please. I'm uh, sitting in the front here, so I hear you very well. I'll make sure. Can people hear it back? Yeah. You can? Yes or no? Yes. yes. We have we have cranked up the sound for it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. So but and what do these people use tools for getting done? They're using exclusives. And to and to break up concrete structures all times dynamite. As we all know, this is an invention by Alfred Gravel, the Swede, in sixteen hundred and eighteen hundreds and sixty-eight. The father of the Dover. Dynamite is fine.